All right. <clears throat> you soldered before? Yeah. All right. Have you soldered with infrared? You've done air, hot air, right? Hot air. Yeah. I've done soldering air stuff. Okay. So, uh, so in this case, obviously, you know, this is right. the actual serial chip. So you can either so. choose that one, or if you want to do ones that are like the U12. I'll do that, the T well, I'll do the whichever T one you want. It's pretty easy. Yeah, you want to try the T SOP? So, so you've done it before, yeah, you may as well advance to the T SOP. I'm going to do the T SOP. So, uh, so in this case, obviously, you need two strips because uh, basically, well, you protect here and yeah. these resistors and capacitors in here. So, uh, so cut off a piece of tape just long enough. There's scissors on the right. Very good. Of course, you know, just make everything the silver all exposed and cover up everything else so that the heat doesn't affect it. Um, I'm also just saying a couple things to the microphone just so that other people can, at home can see. Yeah, we do one strip across here just to make sure that what's actually happening is covering up. The camera can't see too much of that. Just to protect it and make sure it's in. Okay, so now the next thing that you want to do is touch up all the silver with flux. So you want to use the liquid flux and make sure that you get all the silver so that hopefully when the infrared gets in there, use a, there's a tape brush in there for the flux. Oh. So it doesn't take much flux, uh, just paint enough on the legs so you don't have to get all of the chip or anything. Yep, that'll do it. Then the next thing that you want to do, uh, you want to make sure you know which way is pin one on this chip. So you want to make sure that you look at it. Usually I take a picture of it under the microscope, so I always know which way the pins went. But with a donor board, we would always know because we can always check the other board, right? So, okay. All right. And then the next thing I do is I get it in these grooves so that I'm holding it. So make sure that it's pressed in there good enough so that I can move it around. And then you can squeeze the bars together and try to make sure it's whatever makes you feel comfortable with the layout of it. All right, and then that's fine, you can bend them out. Just as long as you can reach in there and get the chip out when, uh, when it's heated up. You, that, well, you can bend it out more if you want, but I actually have other tweezers in the uh, box right there, too. Mm -hmm. Right there. Yeah. In the top. The standard ones that we use for the other ones. They're on the top right there. There you go. 
one? You'll get off, I think. Uh, you know, typically at least next one. Yeah. So, um, this one doesn't. No. This one will be fine. Uh, it's uh, the uh, chips, usually chips do. The CPUs do. All right, so. It comes ready, but then as soon as you Then slide it in there. Make sure it's at a good angle for you. You'll be able to reach in. These are actually better than like, little tweezers. But yeah. Okay. All right. So then the next thing is mm -hmm. flip this down. Now the way this thing works, this is the uh, <clears throat> this is for the ball grid array. If we were going to work on ceramic. This one on the left, this one on the right is for your iron, and this one in the middle is for the infrared. And so when you flip it on, about a minute, minute and a half, it'll burn off, and as soon as the smoke starts to burn off, then reach in there and grab it. As soon as it feels like it's coming up, then flip this off with one hand while you're pulling the other one. That way, you don't hurt anything else, or you don't fry anything else on its way out. So anytime you're ready, you can flip that on. Usually the smoke will start to uh, burn off the flux, uh, or the heat starts to burn off the flux. And then usually near the end when the flux stops, <coughs> like it's not far enough yet, it's going to be another 40 seconds or so. It's almost like the flux burned off and it goes away. And then you'll be able to reach in there and pick it up. And the legs will start to turn silver and they'll start to seem kind of pull together. And that will usually be a good indication that it's melted. Especially on a larger chip like this, like the U12s would come off a lot easier mm -hmm. than these will. One side will usually lift up before the other side does on these. Uh, you're probably there. I'll give it a shot. Not quite. Okay. Oh, there you go. Okay, and then turn it off. Then you can put it down here if you want. So now, when when you uh, picked it up and it fell, yeah, you've got you got you've got some between it. Now it may burn off. Otherwise, I will try to I would try to do it at the end after I put it back on. Mm -hmm. I will see if they melt and it comes back up on the pads, mm -hmm. and then otherwise I'd have to use the um, the solder wick to clean it up. So move the board and the whole assembly here, and then adjust the microscope so you can see and make sure each pin's leg is in the right place. And then you've got to get it back up on there without vibration. And then you can focus the top, the dial. to make sure I get all the like in the same view. That's what my last one would do. It would move to one spot. They're trying to find the system area, but not, not finding Not reading. Did some Google searching, and I'll be right back. Close. Mm -hmm. Yep. I mean, they're all in there. Always good. Okay. That's good to me. Yep. And then after you heat it up, then double check, and then we can suck them back down if they're. Get to that fighting. Usually what I'm doing here mm -hmm. is I just watch for it to become shiny silver. It'll actually turn from like that cold looking color to a shinier silver color. Mm -hmm. And so as soon as you see that, then you know the legs are pulled together. So I'll usually 
turn it off, and I'll just wait like 10 or 15 seconds. It's not yet. It'll, yeah, it's it's going to take at least a minute. Again. Okay. But I got bridges in there. And you may have to clean up some of the bridges with a soldering iron. Because they may not melt. And then do the same thing, and then the iron over there is on a short leash, basically, so... Yeah, it's still got a couple of bridges in there. Yeah. But most look okay. There's one bridge here. Yeah. The other ones look all right. We got one here, maybe here. Is that a bridge? Yes. Yeah, and here. This is actually on the board. This one's on the legs. <coughs> now, when I'm soldering, mm -hmm. I brush out. Like, I actually yeah. start in the middle and brush, brush out. out. Yeah. Let's see if we can that's not too looks bad. Looks okay. Yeah. And I that's just slipped it when I. That's yeah. what I was saying. Like, yeah, that one actually looks on good. Yeah. Didn't get a good grip on it when yeah. I. Usually, I touch up as much of the legs as I can, though, just to make sure that I actually have a good contact with them. Because infrared, you know, it might bubble up, and you right. might not get a good contact on one yeah. side. So. You use. Um, I usually use like a locking or a different kind of like a forcep type thing to pull them up because. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I find that the tweezers they right. just don't have enough kind of grip. Something serrated on the inside works for me, but. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I don't have a problem, but I mean, I guess, I, you know, whatever works, we're good. We may need to, I do have some 10 tip stuff if we need to. <laughs> Here's a 10 kit to tin the tip to get it back kind of metal. Re-tin the tips and then clean it back off again. Don't hit the bottom too much, it'll bend the tip on the... You might need to put some more flux on it to help raise the temperature. It burned off in the... It did. In the infrared. And then if you do need the solder wick, it's on your right. I'm about to go there. I don't really want to, but I may have to do it. You can expand it if you need to to put the thing down so you can just hold the wick. It does that one if you put this all on. Park what? <laughs> In a second, it's your turn. A second, what? In a second, it's your turn. Okay, good, because I need to learn how to do this. <laughs> Since you keep switching it up on me. I do. Well, you know. Because we went from air to. Well, I was all good with the soldering <laughs> and the chip quake, and then you switched up to air, so then I got air, so that I could learn how to do all that, and now you're switching up to infrared. You haven't used the infrared yet? No. You haven't had it in class since I, since I last 
helped you teach. That's really? Right. I haven't. You have to do him next. Uh, yeah, I'm next. <laughs> Say what? What? Yeah, that wasn't what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> I meant you were going to come over and start teaching. Are you having used one? I think we're right now. That's cool. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, when he's ready for his next break, uh, and you take. Uh, I mean, it's good. We start. All right, clean it off with uh, alcohol and a uh, Q-tip. Not a lot of solder, but you want to put it on the micro? Yeah, because I, I can't see without. I can no longer tell myself without a. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, I think we're okay. Yeah, I don't see any bridges in there. It's okay. The other side looks way better. That's the good yeah, side. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Like I said, I've dropped the chip. And you could try heating it up. <coughs> it looks okay. Yeah, it I looks good. I don't see any bridges in there. So yeah. It's not very clean. This is nice, smooth solder. That other side, this side's not very nice soft. But yeah. It's all right. Yeah, it looks all right. Yeah. If you wanted to smooth that out, the infrared would smooth it out now. But that's up to you. And then just peel tape off, clean it up with alcohol, and then, then go shoot it. Go try it on your system. I just took it off a non-working board. Oh, okay. Figured out why I killed two trucks. <laughs> Usually people that were successful rebuilding their drive, then they rebuild the boards, and then they have the same thing. But you would clean off your flux. So you just wipe them with alcohol? Yep. And just come right off. You all look so studious out there. On Monday, Tuesday, you looked so exhausted. Today, you look so like you're studying. You look so much more confident than you did on Tuesday. On Tuesday, you all look scared like deers, deers with their headlights. Yeah, we were just fried. Yeah, fried day. too. Yeah, that's true. It looks alright. Yes, it was only 24 hours of training at that point. <laughs> Good deal. Excellent. Alright. Let me get you the marginal <laughs> Give me one second to grab a drink and.